It's sunny in Telford, but this town has seen darker times. An independent inquiry published today has revealed the widespread grooming of children, which happened here over a period of 40 years. Countless children were sexually assaulted and raped. They were deliberately humiliated and degraded. They were shared and trafficked. They were subjected to violence and their families were threatened. They lived in fear. Their lives were forever changed. More than 1,000 children were exploited over a number of decades. And this report has come from committed individuals, not from top-down directives. It also found... Obvious child sexual exploitation was ignored and information was not properly shared between agencies. Key agencies blamed children, not perpetrators, for exploitation. Teachers and youth workers were discouraged from reporting child sexual exploitation. These are clear indications that victims were failed by the system set up to protect them. Lucy Lowe was one of them. She was 16 when her abuser set fire to her home. She died along with her mother and sister. Taxi driver Azar Ali Mahmood was jailed in 2001 for their murders, but was never prosecuted for sex offences. Lucy had given birth to his child when she was just 14 years old. You've got a funeral where you've got three coffins in front of you. One's bad enough, but three, you know, it was, it was, it was awful. Lucy's uncle, Edward Lowe, believes their deaths could have been prevented. A 14-year-old girl becoming pregnant, surely the school should say that's wrong, get um, social services involved, get the police involved. It never happened. So they, they were failed, and not only have they failed my brother, they failed Linda, they failed Lucy, they failed Sarah, they failed Taz, but they failed other... other um, families within this um, town. Lucy's case has been examined as part of this independent inquiry. It's another chapter closed, but for the victims' families, it's certainly not the end of the story. Well, Bradley joins us live now from Telford. And I understand we've had some reaction from the police, Bradley. That's correct, Dan. We've had a statement from West Mercia Police uh, who say that they are making an unequivocal apology to victims and survivors of child sexual exploitation in Telford for past failings by the force. Uh, speaking on behalf of West Mercia Police, Assistant Chief Constable Richard Cooper said that he would like to say sorry, sorry to the survivors and all those affected by child sexual exploitation in Telford. He says while there were no findings of corruption, our actions fell far short of the help and protection you should have had from us. It was unacceptable. We let you down. It is important we now take time to reflect critically and carefully on the context of the report and the recommendations that have been made. That is Police uh, Assistant Chief Constable Richard Cooper from West Mercia Police there, uh, as that statement has just come through. And that is actually what some of the survivors are saying, Dan, that people should learn from this to prevent similar cases from happening again.